Welcome to another Chef Knives to Go Quick Look product review. I'm Steve Gamash, and what we have this time is the Kohetsu SLD series. This is their Petty, the 130mm size. So the way these are constructed is they've got a hard core, center core steel that runs through the middle of the knife blade, and that is made out of SLD semi-stainless. Uh, it's like a high-speed tool steel. It uh, works really well on knives. It sharpens up uh, easily and holds a decent edge and also takes a really nice edge. Uh, it's about 61, 62 Rockwell on the hardness on that core steel. And then what they've done is taken a, a soft semi stain, or excuse me, soft stainless cladding, and they've put that over the top of each side. So it doesn't actually cover the spine, so it's, it's just straight cladding on each side. The cladding has an interesting pattern. This blade is small enough where the pattern is not quite as obvious as some of the bigger blades, but it's kind of a lattice work pattern on there. Um, it is, uh, the semi-stainless is really pretty stainless in practice. I've got a 180 Guto, and I had a, a Bunka as well, and you really didn't get much staining on them at all unless you really let them sit a while. So, uh, almost stainless in practice. The weight and, and dimensions are going to vary a little bit from knife to knife. This particular one is... I'm just going to flip it around that way because of the way the lights are. It's about 77 grams or 2.7 ounces in weight. And edge length, I measured about 137 on these, so a little oversized. That tends to be the way they go with these. So well, about 5.5 inches, slightly under that. 260 millimeters or 10.2 inches overall length. And then the spine thickness. These do tend to have a fair amount of thickness on the spine and be pretty stiff blades. This is no exception. It's just the style of the line. Uh, so this one's about 3 millimeters at the back, and then I measured about 2.75 halfway down. You can see this really does not lose a whole lot of thickness until you get to the grind. Uh, the grind, they thin it up pretty well at the very, very tip, and you can see the grind's reasonably high on these. Performance tends to be quite good on these. I honestly have not used this petty, but the other knives I've had have all been, you know, quite good performers, and I've got one I use that almost all the time so it's uh, it works really well the uh, blade height is 31 millimeters at the back and then the handle is just a pretty well done they're pretty consistent octagonal uh, ambidextrous walnut with the black packwood ferrule typically pretty decent and good fit and finish all the way around nicely uh, put into the tang this one has a little bit of a gap around it where you've got, I guess, some drill outs for the hole. So you might want to seal that up. Take a good look at whatever knife you get, but you might want to seal that up at the back with something. Uh, could be beeswax or an actual like epoxy type thing, whatever you want to use. Handle circumference is about 66 millimeters where these two meet. And uh, fit and finish on these tends to be quite good. Uh, these is excuse me, this is a high value knife line. You get a lot for your dollar. And so the fit and finish and the performance and the overall interesting look is, I think, punches above its price point. So uh, it's a really nice line of knives. The spine has a bit of polish to it. It does have fairly squarish corners, but they're not sharp. And it's got nice relieving on the choil into the neck, so easy to hold. Uh, it's a fairly stiff blade, as you might guess. This is quite stiff for its length. Uh, out of the box edge on these tends to be five, maybe slash six out of ten on my scale. So a pretty decent out of the box edge on these. Uh, the edge bevels, you know, where they actually grind the edge, tend to be pretty clean looking and pretty well done. The um, blade, as I said, does have a pretty interesting pattern. Uh, some of the knives have a little deeper pattern on there. It's kind of a lattice work. The left side of the blade here, I think, has been polished enough where you don't see a lot of it, but very interesting nonetheless. They have kanji on the right side as you'd be holding the blade, and it, I think it's laser engraved, possibly. It looks like, doesn't look like it's hand engraved. But nice looking kanji as well. You can see the cladding line kind of barely there. It's, it's tough to pick up the cladding line on these. It tends to blend in a lot. But it is there if you carefully look. Uh, what else here? No, not a lot else. Let's look at the cutting board profile. So again, this is a really nice line of knives. They're easy to use. They don't really uh, stain much at all, if any. So they're just, uh, it's a good solid line of knives. And here's what this petty looks like on the cutting board. So you'll see it's got a fairly low uh, point to it. Um, I can rock a little bit with it. Actually, it rocks pretty nicely for, the, for a 137 in this case. Uh, but just a good kind of all-around profile. This is tall enough where you've got good finger clearance at the back. So, uh, you know, you could use this as what 
kind of a mini Gutotes style knife, but good utility knife. It's got a little bit of length to it for a variety of tasks, and the, the tip is thin enough where you can get some detail work done. So just a really cool line of knives. Uh, they make good combos like pairs, triples, if you want to try different ones in the lineup. So they look nice together. And uh, the, again, the, the price point, really, you get a lot for your money. I think I'll flip this around with the way the reflections are. But neat knife. So this is the Kohetsu SLD Semi-Stainless Petty 130 millimeter knife.